Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Mass Satire, straight from the heavens. I'm XRA-12. I'm Kyle. Breaking news this week, PDA refused the vaccine despite qualifying for one, says he plans to raw dog the pandemic. Instead, the college president has been pursuing natural remedies, like praying, drinking unfiltered Interbo water, and tokenizing his grandchildren. <laughs> student Hjorm Lorgensorn Jorgensen was awarded St. Olaf Student Activist of the Month, a distinction bestowed upon Olis who strive for a better society and world. Lorgensohn Jorgensen, known to his friends as HLJ, is a third-year economics major who, quote, thought about getting an environmental studies concentration once, unquote, and is totally bummed about the whales. <laughs> Bunch Rock Commons turned into a crime scene on March 29th when a Karen devolved into a fit of rage and called the police after noticing that none of the club's tabling near Stav Hall held permits. <laughs> A recent joint press conference between PDA, the St. Olaf Board of Regents, and ExxonMobil revealed the announcement of a new project, Line 4, the newest, crudest oil pipeline in Minnesota. The conference, sponsored by Wells Fargo, assured audiences that Line 4 would be bigger and badder than ever before, with 33% more capacity than Line 3, and the ability to carry new super tar sand extra crude dirty oil from Canada's Northwest Territories. <laughs> In other news, PDA was spotted last Saturday evening roaming the St. Olaf campus while holding a bottle of vodka and a joint. Multiple eyewitness reports see him smoking in the natural lands and mumbling about being unable to find his house. PDA denies the allegations, claiming to have been at his real home all weekend. But footage shows him vandalizing Rand Hall and breaking into the calf to steal forks and forks. <laughs> Things are getting a bit muddy on the Hill after a small group of student senators founded a new committee in response to the proposed St. Olaf Activities and Programming, or SOAP, body, calling it Democracy is Really Terrific, or DIRT. <laughs> Students for Life, enraged that the Climate Justice Collective took attention away from unborn babies during their die-in that protested fossil fuel investment in Line 3, decided to host their own die-in on the quad. Besides two white females, every attendee was white, cisgender, and male. The school has denied the SJA's resolution for no homework to be assigned during the week of the rest day, citing how challenging it is for professors to change a syllabus midway through the term. Here to discuss his thoughts on this is Professor Dick Dickinson. Hi, Professor. What do you have there? It's my syllabus. I'm keeping it safe from evil students trying to screw up my semester plans. Well, we are in a pandemic. I mean, our lives have changed dramatically and student mental health is declining. Don't you think there should be some adjustments? Don't touch my syllabus. Stay away from my syllabus! It's my syllabus! Alright, thank you for joining us, Professor Dick. <laughs>